This is the first section in the integration chapter, uh, chapter 11. And uh, this is just listing uh, a whole load of integrations that um, some you need to know and some you will be given. So the ones you need to know are these ones here. So the ones that are numbered one to five. So you need to memorize these. Yeah, now you'll know the first one already from uh, last year. Um, and the others, remember that uh, integration is the reverse of differentiation. So some you may already have an idea because we've done differentiation. And so for example, you know what, you know that log x becomes one over x. So, you know, we've got the reverse there. Once you remember one, if you know log x is one over x from differentiation, then you know the integration, obviously like e to the x, it, it's not gonna change. <clears throat> the first one, that type of integration you've done last year. So remember what you do here is you add one to the power that's given in the question, and then you divide by the new power. That's the, the when you're uh, differential, sorry, integrating a polynomial. Don't forget your plus C, they've all got plus C on the end. That's important. And there may be questions where we actually need to work out C. Yeah, and again, that's something that you've done last year. But don't forget when on, when you do a, a an integration, an indefinite integral, so there's no limits, don't forget your plus C. That's always going to be there. Now, you'll probably notice here that this doesn't say log X, it's got log and then this modulus sign there. That's because we can't do the log of a, a negative number. So even if X is negative over here, the modulus will make it positive. Yes, yeah, so if you were integrating uh, one over negative X, this will become log of uh, the modulus of negative X, so it just becomes uh, X so it'll just become positive. So I'll just put a note here. Okay, so this is to ensure this is to ensure we don't uh, try doing the log or natural log of a negative number. Yeah, because that's that's not allowed. That will come up error on your calculator. Um, Sine we know becomes cos, so cos must become sine. Now, when we differentiate cos, remember that becomes minus sine. So sine differentiating becomes minus cos. So be careful with these. The signs are the opposite to differentiation because cos differentiated is negative sine and sine differentiated is cos. So just be aware that those are, are gonna have opposite signs. And these uh, four at the bottom, six, seven, eight, and nine, these ones here. These are given in the formula book, so you don't need to memorize these. So in the formula book, and this first section is just about doing, uh, integrating some of these functions here. That's all it is. So the first question has three bits to it the 2 cos x, the 3 over x, and the minus root x. So the first thing is going to be to write the, the last term in a form that we can integrate. So negative x to the power half dx, I suppose it should be in brackets like this. Now, whenever you get a number at the front, a constant, 
and actually we have a constant here as well because you'll see in a moment this is the same as 3 times 1 over x then we just multiply the integral by that constant so because we have 2 cos x that will become 2 lots of cos integrated which will be 2 sine x now be careful it's tempting to put negative sine x because that's what you do with differentiation but remember the sine is the opposite uh, the 3 over x which is the same as 3 times 1 over x that will become 3 lots of log x now remember the x needs to be in a modulus sign and then the x to the power half well we add 1 to the power which is 3 over 2 then we divide by the new power so we basically need to divide by 3 over 2 which is the same as multiplying by 2 over 3 so here that's basically the same as dividing by 3 over 2 dividing by the new power let's put in a little bubble down there plus c so there's our final answer for the first one um, if you wanted to this term here with the log you could write that as log x and put the 3 here as a power but it needs to go outside of the modulus sign because you need to make uh, x positive first then cube it so you don't put the the cubed inside the modulus sign in part b we've got sine uh, sorry cos over sine squared now what we want to do with that is say right okay can that be simplified into a different trig identity because cos over sine squared well basically that's the same as cos x over sine x times by 1 over sine x minus 2 e to the x dx yeah so all I've done is is write that there in a slightly different form now cos over sine that's cot and 1 over sine is cosec so you've got cot x cosec x now this is one of the standard integrals in the list and if you're doing it in the exam you might say to yourself right i'm just going to look that up in the um, formula booklet and write it down so um, cosec cot it's written the other way around becomes negative cosec x so the first term becomes negative cosec x then um, the minus 2 e to the x well e to the x integrated stays as e to the x and that gets multiplied by um, two, negative 2 it's like the constant so it's just underline the constant there plus c so don't forget your plus c and that's the second one done if you wanted to you could factorize out the the minus and put that outside of brackets but there's no need we can leave it like that okay this question we are given the value of an integral it says given it doesn't say find and it also says that a is positive that's going to be useful in a minute find the exact value of a so we need to work out what the value of a is so we can work out a and 3a so we're going to have to integrate it using the values of a and 3a first thing we need to do is to write this in a form that we can integrate now since we've got two things over the same denominator you can write that as 2x over x plus 1 over x dx from there the 2x over x you divide the top and the bottom by x just leaves you with 2 so you've got 2 plus 1 over x dx so we've got limits let's integrate that so the 2 
becomes 2x the 1 over x becomes log modulus x and our limits are a and 3a so now we can substitute in the value of the uh, limits so we'll have 2 times 3a plus log 3a now because a is positive 3a is going to be positive I don't really need the modulus sign I can put them in but they're actually optional because the value of 3a is going to be positive minus 2 times a plus log a again we don't need the modulus because we know it's going to be positive so from there the first bracket is going to give us 6a plus log 3a minus 2a minus log a let's draw that log a little bit better now if we simplify that what do we get we get 4a plus now if you do log 3a minus log a this bit here this is the same as doing log 3a divided by a the bits underlined in blue now we can go to the bit at the beginning of the question where it tells us that the value of this is log 12 so let's solve this now the a's cancel out so what we end up with is 4a plus log 3 equals log 12 if we subtract uh, log 12 from both sides sorry log 3 from both sides remember we're trying to find a that becomes the log of 12 divided by 3 so 4a equals log 4 I think I was trying to do a modulus there let's put a bracket so that means that a equals a quarter log 4 or log 4 all divided by 4 so there we go we found the value of a and I will just highlight that as I normally do before we move on to the next one. Ah, oh, right that was the last one so now you do exercise 11a on pages 295 to 296 if you want you can pause it here leave these integrals on the screen to help you but remember um, I suppose I should cover up and hide these ones because these are the ones you need to know so there they go they're going to disappear because I don't want you peeking at them and using them you need to memorize them but the others that's fine you can do those